Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So, quick video. So, this should have been my conclusion on this drone. I can't do a conclusion because it doesn't work properly. So, the problem I've got is if you look at the battery meter, it tells me I've got four lights, so it should be 80%. But I connect it to the app and the controller, it tells me it's got 80%. When I take off, It'll fly for about 10 seconds and then it'll force land telling me there's no percent in the battery. So either this has got high internal resistance in this battery or there's a problem with the motors drawing too much current. I'm going to show you a quick video coming up of what happens when I try and fly it. And I'll come back in a second. Okay, so you can see what happens. So, I've obviously sent this, that video to GearBest and I'm going to return the drone to them. I have a little video that I did when I managed to get it to hover because one time it lasted about four minutes on the battery after charging it. I just keep charging it, uncharging it, charging it, uncharging it. And in the four minute video you'll see what the picture quality is like from the camera. Bear in mind this is only hovering at about six foot. But at least you're going to get some kind of idea what the camera looks like. I won't be getting another one. So I'm sending this back and I doubt very much whether I'll get another one because if it's got this issue from the start, it could have this issue all the time. I must say that this battery arrived completely flat. So, which is another bad thing. So they're sending these out looking like with a flat battery. Bearing in mind you shouldn't be going below 3.2 per cell. So this should have had 9.6 volts at the very minimum. It was under 9 volts in this battery when I got it. And I measured it with a multimeter. So you need to be aware of that. So, obviously I can't recommend the drone. I can't show you anything else. I can't show you what its range is like or anything. Because I never even got it to fly properly. I can tell you that it hovers alright. But the optical flow doesn't seem to do very much, to be honest. Because it didn't seem any more stable than a drone without optical flow. The video that I've shot is in zero, well it's about one mile an hour wind. Very calm day, so you're going to get some idea. So I'm sorry if you've been waiting for a conclusion video on some flight footage to tell you how good it is, but I can't do that. All I can tell you is, at the minute, I wouldn't buy it. But this could well just be a faulty drone and a one-off. I've seen a video of it flying, another video of it flying before, but it's probably a pre-production model. I haven't seen anybody that's had a retail model delivered to them yet. Do the video possibly is just a faulty one but for me it's irrelevant I, I i won't take that gamble anymore so sorry once again the f11 video will be coming up shortly it's worth watching it's a fantastic drone and i've got loads of other stuff coming up i've also just got the e511s to review which is the mavic air clone from eosheen with a supposed 20 minute flight time GPS drone but brushed motors and I've also got the JJRC small GPS brushed drone that's just come out so both of them will be coming up shortly thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day so as you can see the video quality from the camera doesn't look bad at all it doesn't like bright sunshine but most of these drones don't the movement in the drone is something else it won't really stay in a stable hover, it moves quite a bit side to side and left and right and up and down a little bit but probably not anything less than what you'd expect from a cheap GPS drone but the optical flow sensor only seems to work at certain times it certainly doesn't like grass but it's not too bad on concrete again it's what you get for your money I think you've got a cheap optical flow sensor in there and I am disappointed with the drone because I hoped it was going to be great but for me I, 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 would, I couldn't recommend this with all any honesty because how do I know it's not just a a faulty batch or my faulty one. Thanks ever so much for watching.